And here are the miniatures and semi-miniatures that are blooming or are about to bloom this month. I put them on the same shelf as the standards that I showed in the first part of the video because this is where I can film them best. A couple of them are not blooming, but they have very pretty rosettes, so I wanted to show them to you as well. First, I'm going to show some of my favorite hybrids that were produced by Hortense Pittman. Sadly, she passed away this week, and I wanted to pay tribute to her hybridizing work. Hortense Pittman is the author of hundreds of beautiful African violet hybrids, including the Jolly series. I'm honored to have some of them in my collection. Here is Jolly Fireball. It's a beautiful semi-miniature with double dark red blooms and symmetrical rosette. Next is Jolly Jubilee. It's a miniature variety with dark purple blooms. They have some dark red undertones in it and it has golden crown variegation. It is about to bloom. This is Jolly Prince. This is a summer blooming of Jolly Prince. In the winter, it has beautiful variegation that is more pronounced than in the summer. Jolly Prince also has dark purple blooms, just like Jolly Jubilee with some dark red undertones. This is Jolly Cupid. It's a miniature variety with golden variegation on leaves and dark blue semi-double blooms. The symmetry of Jolly Violets is really amazing. They grow effortlessly into symmetrical rosettes. This is a miniature Jolly Bells with the bell-shaped blooms that are white with a hint of lavender in the center and beautiful medium green rosette. This is the first bloom of Honey Blue Ace it's a miniature with medium green plain leaves and medium blue semi-double blooms with some white edge. Here is Teen Bride. It's also the first bloom of this semi-miniature variety by Horton Spitman. It has beautiful, very pale pink to white double blooms that grow in clusters on tall bloom stalks. And I also have some hybrids here produced by other hybridizers. So this one is Pastel Princess. It's actually a standard variety by Lampier and Linden Lion Greenhouses. But in my conditions, it grows on a smaller side, almost like a semi-miniature. It has beautiful dark green girl leaves and lavender blue, pale blue, pansy shaped blooms. This is a miniature variety with curl leaves called Perky. It was produced by a Canada-based hybridizer, Pat Tracy. And this is the first blooming cycle. 
It has beautiful orchid colored double blooms and medium green girl leaves. This is Rob's dodo bird. It is still blooming since I made its individual review and it is such a prolific bloomer for the first blooming cycle. It has medium blue pencil shaped blooms with white edge and the golden variegation on leaves. And it's a semi miniature. Another favorite semi miniature here is Ness Crinkle Blue by Don Ness. It has rose shaped medium blue blooms with some silver white edge and beautiful serrated dark green leaves. This darling plant is a miniature trailer with bell-shaped pale yellow blooms called Chanta Spring. It was produced by Hare. It's the last name of the hybridizer. It has medium green foliage and this is the first bloom. It was part of my last order of this year from Violet Barn. This is a semi-miniature variety, the hybridizer of which is unknown. And if anybody knows who produced this hybrid, please do let me know in the comments. I really appreciate your help. It's called Made in Japan. It has whimsical girl-shaped foliage and very light pastel blue blooms that are pansy shaped and have white edge. And here for comparison is the blue shade of Rob's dodo bird. So this is medium blue and this is very, very light pastel blue. This is the first blooming cycle. This is another girl leaf variety that is a semi miniature. It's a very young plant called Painted Silk by Jay Stokes. It has the variegated girl foliage and the variegation shows more prominently in the winter time. And it has very vivid dark blue, very bright looking single pansy blooms. This is N. Dimovachka or N. Tumbalina. It is a Russian miniature variety produced by Nadezhda Birnikova. And the prefix N stands for the hybridizer's name. This is the first bloom on this variety. It has pansy shaped blooms that are very light pink with some dark raspberry edge and dark green pointed leaves. This is one of my favorite miniature reds called Max Just Jeff by George MacDonald. I got this plant last year from Linden Lion Greenhouses. It's a very popular hybrid with mosaic variegation and dark red with some coral streaks in them or coral fantasy in the blooms. This is a miniature variety with bell-shaped blooms by Nadezhda Birnikova, the same Russian hybridizer that hybridized N. Dimovachka. It's called N. Nitiri and I made an individual review of this hybrid earlier and that it still keeps blooming. The blooms stay for a long time in it. I think it's because they have some green in, in them 
and the variety says that there should be also some blue in the blooms and I noticed that the younger blooms do have some blue in the center. It's a beautiful bell-shaped variety with golden variegation on leaves. This is a semi-miniature called Sassy Sister by Sydney Serrano. I received it earlier this year from its original source from Linden Lion Greenhouses. It has beautiful pink ruffled blooms with some green edge that shows more prominently in the winter time in the cooler growing temperature. Here is a very popular semi-miniature variety called Kentucky Gooseberries by David Rawlings. It has rose-shaped, very light pink to white blooms with some pink center and medium green leaves. This is the first blooming cycle. I'm very excited about it. It's just the beginning of it. It is also known to be a very prolific bloomer. This is a Ukrainian hybrid called Scales by Yelena Libetskaya. And to my knowledge, this is the only hybrid that she had produced that doesn't have her prefix LE at the beginning of the name of a hybrid. She named it Scales in honor of her late friend who was also an African violet hybridizer, Alexei Kuznetsov. His hybrids have a prefix SK in them, such as SK Первая Любовь or SK First Love in English translation, SK Apple Orchard and others. He passed away in 2017, three years ago. Scales is a semi-miniature and this plant is very beautiful. It has beautiful crown variegation and light blue ruffled double blooms. And this is the very first bloom on this variety. This is another semi-miniature with very beautiful rosette. This hybrid is called Rob's Boogie Woogie. It's a semi-miniature with beautiful variegation and pink blooms that I have yet to see because this has been taking its sweet time to start blooming. I received it from a fellow club member in a club raffle last year and I'm so excited and so impatient to see the first blooms to open. This is just a rosette. It is not blooming, but it's so pretty by Ralph Robinson called Rob's Outer Orbit. It's a semi-miniature variety with uh, very pretty blooms that ha have blue and pink puffs and white edge in them. I have an individual review of Rob's Outer Orbit on my channel. Right now it's resting and I just wanted to show you the beautiful variegation on its leaves. Here is an unknown variety and it's a very darling cute miniature that I wanted to show you because it has double bell-shaped blooms and beautiful variegation and I don't know the name of it, I don't know the hybridizer's name but it's just so pretty and it will always be in my collection. And then here is Pinky. It's a Folkman's vintage miniature variety with double pink blooms and heart-shaped medium green leaves. This is another rosette that is not blooming yet. It's Max Pizzicato Paradise. It's a miniature variety by George MacDonald. 
and I wanted to show you the beautiful variegated foliage on this one. And then finally here is Optimara Little Maya. It's a beautiful semi-miniature by Holtkamp. I've also seen it uh, referred to as Optimara Little Maya Girl. And it has very beautiful dark red single and semi-double pansy shaped blooms and medium green rosette. And let's take a look at what's happening in the bubble garden. We have some blooms around it as well. This is Dale's polar canary. It's the first bloom after the summer break. It's been resting. And then this is Bold Party Girl sporting into a solid color. It used to bloom true, it was lighter, lavender color with some purple fantasy, and now it's almost like an orchid fuchsia color. There's some fantasy still there, some blue fantasy. We'll see how it blooms in the winter. And next to it is a vintage variety called Splendiferous. It's very pretty, I love it. So let's take a look at the bubble garden. So <clears throat> I planted it a couple of months ago and I've always kept this lid on and it has preserved moisture so well that I haven't watered it even once. And as you can see there's still some condensate on the inside walls in the bubble, inside of the bubble. So it keeps moisture very well. Um, and the bubble garden is growing really wild right now. So Rob's Twinkle Blue, the Micro Mini, is now in full bloom. It has very pretty dark blue bell-shaped blooms and pointy green glossy leaves. It's a Micro Mini and it's very cute. And the semi-miniature trailer the sport of Sanks Arctic Fox has grown quite large. I think I might need to pot it outside now because I think it's already too tight of a space for it. And it has started blooming and I promised to show you the blooms last month. So here they are. This is a sport variety as I mentioned. So the True variety blooms as single white wasp and the sport blooms as purple colored wasp and it has some light lavender um, inner side of the petals. Let's see if we can rotate it to see more blooms. Here they are. And I also like the foliage of this variety variegated wasp leaves and the fern is growing nicely as well it's quite large now and this succulent that was growing so tall I decided not to trim it but just to lay it inside and at some point I even saw it bloom over there it it bloomed like yellow blooms with yellow blooms so I don't know I think it's a little bit now a little bit wild at this point so I will see what I can do maybe I will repot the uh, the trailer sinks Arctic Fox sport into a separate pot to give it a little bit more space or maybe I'll replace it with another micro mini so stay tuned for the future bubble garden updates. So these are all of my African violets that are blooming right now. And we are in late August. And today is August 28th, 2020. 
I hope you enjoyed them. Thank you all so very much for watching. I hope I will see you again. Stay safe and be well. And if you'd like to stay tuned for my future videos, please subscribe.